So Swift doesn't have abstract classes because the Swift protocol can do both. It can both be an abstract interface, like a, an interface, but it can also provide default implementations that can be inherited by every type that conforms to the protocol. So Swift protocol is enough to define both abstract classes and interfaces in Swift. And it's even better than abstract classes because you can inherit from more than one Swift protocol, hmm. which means you can have another protocol yeah. with another behavior. And my struct that implements protocol and protocol two, we get both a dot another behavior as well. So protocols in Swift, they are more composable than abstract classes in other languages because you can inherit from, we can conform to more than one protocol and inherit all the behavior that comes with the extensions of the protocol. But in abstract classes, you can only inherit from one. You can only inherit from one class, but you can conform to many protocols and inherit all the behavior in their extensions. So protocols in Swift, they are more composable than abstract classes and interfaces in other languages.